Hi everybody, my name is Mark Badigan and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer here at Zscaler. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Zscaler Digital Experience. But before I do, let's do a quick recap on the fundamentals of what the Zero Trust Exchange is doing for our customers. And essentially it is what's going to sit between your users who are now everywhere and anywhere and connect them securely to the services they need through a direct to cloud approach. So for these users who are working from anywhere, we might have traffic going to the Zero Trust Exchange. We're also gonna have traffic from your branches, your headquarters, anywhere you've got users sending traffic to the Zero Trust Exchange, as well as traffic from servers or workloads that are also connecting outbound to the Zero Trust Exchange. And in essence, we're going to leverage identity and policy to ultimately forward the traffic appropriately to the relevant services dictated by that policy. Now, if we think about this from a troubleshooting and support standpoint, it's going to be very difficult to get the visibility required to be able to solve problems faster for our users when they're in this work from anywhere mode. So Zscaler Digital Experience consolidates all the relevant details into a single dashboard so that our support teams can be more collaborative and solve problems fast. But what does it look like? Well, first, we use the same agent to forward the traffic. Simply put, we don't need to deploy any hardware or additional software. We're going to look at things like the CPU, the memory, the disk I.O., and lots of other metrics on that endpoint. Then we want to look at the end-to-end -end transit path, or what we call the cloud path, from the user through the Zero Trust Exchange and up to the relevant application. So for instance, we can identify when I'm connected potentially to a poorly signaled Wi-Fi hotspot. We can also look at the ISP, and we can also look at and get visibility on the last mile. Lastly, we're gonna bring metrics from the applications themselves that your users are accessing, whether it's SaaS, internet, or in your private estate, and consolidate these for the relevant teams. Now, if we think about support in the traditional sense, we see a lot of organizations and they want to move away from being reactive to proactive, ultimately delivering great user experience for their user base, driving productivity. But there's a few problems with the reactive model. We tend to see an increase in things like tickets, which in turn leads to an increase in escalations. ZDX is helping organizations move from being reactive to proactive through a number of mechanisms. First, consolidating all the data. Second, we want to leverage AI and ML to tell our organization what is good from a baseline perspective. And when something deviates from that good experience, we want to dynamically fix the problem before more tickets come in, more escalations happen. So let's take a quick example. If users in the branch here are having problems with their SD-WAN or potentially their ISP, before they've had a chance to create a flurry of tickets and overload our service desk, ZDX's engines will integrate with things like ServiceNow so that we can kick off a workflow and identify where the problem is and how we can fix that problem. So if we think about this, the two key metrics that every support leader is going to be looking at are mean time to detection and mean time to resolution. If we can bring these numbers down, we're going to be able to bring down the tick account and we're going to bring down the escalation, give ourselves better productivity. If you'd like to find out how ZDX can reduce down NTTR for your organization and support infrastructure, reach out to your account team. We'd be more than happy to set up a workshop. Thank you.